First, though, some major new developments in the tragic murder of six people in Okmulgee County. Authorities say registered sex offender and convicted rapist Jesse McFadden shot and killed his wife, three stepchildren, and two of their kids' friends. The family of one of the victims is just outraged tonight that investigators appear to have left critical evidence at the crime scene. 2 News Oklahoma anchor Aaron Christie is live outside Henrietta right now with the very latest for us. Aaron. Karen, the attorney for Ivy Webster, uh, was shocked to see what he calls a house of horrors inside this house. Restraints on the walls, sex toys, drugs and drug paraphernalia. But most shocking, left behind by investigators, computers and cell phones. These are the computers. This video, taken by victim Ivy Webster's grandmother, shows several computers and cell phones still inside the house. 2 News has chosen not to show the whole tour or more sexual content out of privacy and also for victims' family members like Lynn Wyatt, Holly Guess's aunt. We're coming to get their personal belongings, some things that Jan needs. She can't do it, but she wanted people that knew Holly and the kids. Jan Mayo is Holly Guess's mother who never saw the living conditions before the video ran on social media. It's devastated Jan. Well, it was also disturbing in that um, Jan was not told that that was getting ready to be aired in any way, shape, size, or form. We told the family we would air clips of left computers and evidence and Where? kitchen locks on the counter. Now family members of several victims are demanding answers they feel right now they will never get on why this blatant evidence was left behind. Today, Lynn found multiple medical records and journals of the kids. On Wednesday, police chief Joe Prentice said there was no witnesses, so there was no evidence. Again, I follow the evidence and I don't have any evidence to indicate what the actual motive was. And I'm going to be honest with you folks. Normal people that understand care, love, compassion wouldn't understand if I could come up with it anyway. Why didn't you get his technology to make sure he wasn't sending videos or pictures? You left the evidence, Mr. I'm all about the evidence. Lynn and Holly's godmother, Kathy, are worried not only for this murder case, but that it could be devastating this evidence wasn't seized to help prosecute pedophiles all across the dark web. So just about an hour ago, Ivy Webster's family showed up in addition to Holly's family. They were upset. There was a lot of confusion. Is this still a crime scene? Are investigators going to come back? So the sheriff's office came out and did confirm they've released this house back to the landlord. And the landlord has given them two days and he's going to take everything to the dumpster. So they're taking those belongings. We've been trying to get an update on the investigation from the OSBI who referred us to the police chief. The police chief referred us to the district attorney. I called the district attorney. They didn't call back, but we got a statement just about 20 minutes ago. It's very generic in nature. I believe they're going to put that up on the screen overall, giving thoughts and prayers to the families and confirming they are investigating. Reporting live outside Henrietta, Aaron Christie, 2 News, Oklahoma.